At the start of a new year, many people plan for better career, businesses, buy new cars, build houses, and generally look forward to a better year. But where is the place of healthy living in the scheme of things? I thank God I enjoy a sound health and I don't want to I don't want anything that will tamper with my health. But do you have plans for it? Yeah, oh, well, uh, can I, can I, can I want plan for one's health? I have planned that this year I'm going to take care of my health, not to eat all those junk food again. Um, I don't think health is uh, something you just attain. I believe it's a gradual step. It's Healthy living involves making deliberate efforts because every plan you have can only be achieved when sound health is present. A senior lecturer at the College of Medicine, University of Lagos, Dr. Ifedayo Odeni, speaks on some of the steps to take to ensure good health. Apart from uh, looking at uh, uh, the blood pressure, the blood sugar, we now send blood samples for tests. And the tests we can do with these blood samples vary. For example, you take a man as above uh, 45, Apart from looking at the level of blood, looking at the kidney function, looking at cholesterol, you want to look at the PSA. Uh, that is a prostatic uh, surface antigen. And that tends to help to monitor the health of the prostate gland. Of course, women are advised to examine their breasts regularly. When you do periodic medical, the examination goes beyond just palpating, touching and looking for lung they probably will request for a mammogram which will actually look at the breast better women are also advised to do pap smear and if anything if is found not to be up to where it should be you are referred appropriately to a specialist who takes care of that and make sure that your health is back on track aside from medical checks getting enough sleep and making healthy choices are key when you get to hospital, they check basic things like the BMI, they check the waist. If your BMI is between 20 and 25, that is optimum weight. If your waist is more than 40, even if your BMI is normal, it means that you have accumulated fat in the wrong areas and that increases the chances of somebody to have heart disease and a shortened lap span. Everybody should get at least about 8 hours of sleep every day. And if, for, what, for whatever reason, either work, social commitments, you are not able to get enough sleep, you don't wait until when you begin to suffer from the effects of sleep deprivation. The next thing you want to go to is cigarette smoking. That is absolute. Anybody that is smoking cigarette should stop it. What about keeping a lead on your stress level? You know, stress comes in different, it will come in marital stress, uh, stress of the workplace, societal stress. Everybody must take one active step to reduce their stress, stress level. But it is it's not known that chronic exposure to stress will actually end up with visible disease. And the children should not be left out when it comes to healthy living. The children ordinarily are very active. But unfortunately, the society we find ourselves now, uh, children don't have anywhere to play again. Even at home, we lock them up. We are afraid of kidnappers and all those things. So now we are facing uh, childhood obesity. And the reason is that our children now consume a lot of calorie. They sit more in front of the TV. But for now, as parents, what should we do? Can we sometimes drop the car and let them stroll with us around the neighborhood and at least get them to sweat? We must also watch what we give them in their parks to school. You hardly find fruits in those bags. And so we need to change from that if we want our children also to be very healthy and active. Having a health plan is one step. Following through is another. These may not come easy, but making the positive changes gradually would help. If you fall by the wayside, dust yourself up and try again. Yomi Otaigui. Reporting for Channels Television News.